Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the number of papers that you have to read just to write the introduction or the literature review for your own research paper? This is so frustrating because there just isn't enough time and it delays writing your paper by weeks and sometimes even months. So what if you could understand 90% of each paper in just 15 minutes or less? By following this process, I'm able to read four papers in just an hour and retain most of the key information. We've also taught it to hundreds of PhD students and researchers, allowing them to do exceptional re literature reviews much faster and publish review papers in top journals. So in this video, I will show you exactly how you can read papers 10 times faster so that you can write an exceptional literature review much faster and submit a review paper to a Q1 Scopus Index Journals in just a matter of weeks. Before I show it to you though, I want to reveal the number one mistake I've seen PhD students and researchers make when it comes to reading papers. To explain, imagine walking through a vast wood without a map, without a compass or a GPS or a phone in your pocket. You wander from one tree to the other, hoping that eventually you will find your way out of that forest. But around every corner, there are just more and more trees. You waste time, you get lost and you become frustrated. And this is exactly the problem PhD students and researchers face when it comes to reading papers and doing the literature review. You don't have a clear why. This means that every other paper looks potentially interesting and potentially worth reading. And every part of every paper seems potentially worth reading as well. So you waste literally hundreds of hours reading and reading, but never actually getting anywhere. Like this person walking from tree to tree in the forest without ever finding the way out. Because they also don't even know what their destination is. You see, before you go on a journey through a dense wood, it might just be a good idea to actually know where you're going. Woods are big and full of wolves and bears, or at least used to be before we humans killed most of them. So unless you want to get lost or eaten by a wolf that's hungry for revenge over humans, then you want to know where you're actually going. This then allows you to plan a clear path through the forest that hopefully avoids those hungry wolves and also allows you to get out of the forest much faster. We'll get to planning that path through the wood in just a second. But first of all, what is your destination? In other words, why are you reading this paper? And please don't tell me that it's because it came up in Google Scholar as you were doing your literature search. First, clarify your overall reading goal. Maybe it's to find a research gap. Maybe it's to design your own study. That's your final destination. Then ask yourself, what information do you need in order to get to that final destination. It's, if your goal is to design your own study, maybe you're specifically interested in the pros and cons of particular methodologies used by previous researchers in previous studies to study a similar topic to what you're studying. This gives you a clear why for reading your paper and really allows you to read the whole paper much, much faster. And now that you have a clear why for reading your paper, you're still not, not out of the woods just yet. Why? Well, there are a lot of interesting trees in the woods and flowers and mushrooms and animals and all sorts of other fascinating things. So even though you know where you're going, it's very easy to get distracted on the way. You stop to admire a 100-year-old tree. You Google this interesting new flower that you've never seen before. You see a beautiful rabbit and decide to follow it. And before you know it, you've gone down the rabbit hole for hours and there's no rabbit. That's how most PhD students and researchers feel when doing the literature review. You start reading one paper and then spot another one that also seems interesting and relevant. And another one, and one more, and one more still. 
The issue is that you're reading interesting papers that seem interesting, but not papers that are necessarily helping you to get to your destination and do your literature review faster. In other words, you went into the forest to find and eat mushrooms, but you spent the whole day eating blueberries. So before you even open and start reading the whole paper, you need to identify if it's relevant to your goal at all. So there are two things that you should do before you even start reading the paper. First of all, read the title and ask yourself, is it relevant to your overall why and your overall destination for reading? Not interesting, but relevant. If not, you just move on and you discard that paper. If yes, you move to step two, which is read the abstract. Again, ask yourself if this paper is relevant to read. Just doing this in one minute will give you the key points of the paper. It will also allow you to read way fewer papers and be much more efficient when you start reading the papers. Now that you've decided to read the paper or venture into the right forest, there's one key thing you need to do to speed up your journey through that forest or paper. Before you set off, you probably want to plan a path that's going to get you to your destination faster and avoid the wolves, which remember are hungry for revenge over humans. It's the same when reading papers. For example, if your overall goal is to identify the research gap, you will want to find out what the limitations of previous studies are, what the suggestions for future research are, so that you can then craft a study that addresses those limitations and answers those suggestions for future research. And you don't need to go through the whole paper to do this. You can just skip to the discussion or the conclusion of the paper because that's where authors will explain the limitations of the study and make suggestions for future research. Or even faster, you can just ask AI to do this for you, like this. So the first AI tool that you can use to massively speed up your reading is AvidNote. And I'll leave the link to AvidNote in the description. It's a free tool to start with. Um, if you're going to use it throughout your literature review to read a lot of papers and get AI to analyze those papers, you might need the paid version. But if you're just going to use it on and off, you can just use the free version and the link will be in the description. So what you would need to do first, if you come into AvidNote, you would need to upload um, a file in here and you can also select a folder where you're going to upload it. But I've already got my papers uploaded um, in here. So I'll just um, open one of them um, since we were talking about the research gap, right? And you need to know what your overall goal is, where you're going and what the specific task or information is that you're looking for in this specific paper. So um, you will come in here and you will, um, you will see the AI chat with document. If you open this, you will actually already see a lot of questions that have been preloaded um, for you. So you even have specific document questions, right? And more generic ones. But even those generic ones are pretty specific and they'll allow you to achieve your overall goal. So let's say if your task is to identify um, research gaps for your own uh, paper, you want to be looking at the limitations of the study, suggestions for future research and so on. So I can just click on uh, limitations in here and then Avid Notes in just a couple of seconds is going to give you uh, the limitations um, of this um, of this research, right? And you could just copy it to clipboard and put it in a Word document, or you could save it as a note um, as well, and then it will appear here in your in your notes. So that's how you can very quickly um, get AI to um, to give you the information that you're looking for. Uh, but again, you need to know what information uh, you're looking for. So AvidNote is one fantastic tool like this that can help you with it. We also have SciSpace, which would be the second tool that I would highly recommend. The link to sign up for free on SciSpace is in the description. Same like with AvidNote, if you just use it on and off, you don't need the paid version, but if you're planning to use it regularly for your literature review to 10x your reading, then I would, I would recommend um, you sign up on the paid version. So in here, you would go to chat with PDF, and again, you need to upload a PDF um, 
for yourself that you've downloaded. I've already got um, a lot of them. So I will just uh, open one of them and it remembers the chats that I've had um, before. Um, the interface is slightly different, but um, it is equally good as Avid Notes um, in here. So it will suggest questions um, for you. Okay, so you can see here, if you click here, it already has general questions. It doesn't have those specific document questions that Avid Notes um, has, which I think is a, is a huge advantage of Avid Note. But anyway, you probably want to know yourself what information it, you're looking for specifically. So maybe in this case, you know, you're interested in the methodology of the paper um, and you're interested in how many participants were in this study. Okay, and you can ask any questions like this and then um, get answers very, very quickly um, in here. Okay, and then you can, in here, Avidno doesn't have that feature, but in here you can switch between high quality and standard models. So these are the two tools I would really recommend once you know what information you're looking for to quickly extract it from uh, PDFs. Okay, but what happens if you need to read a longer part of the paper? Let's say your goal is to survey the literature and understand what previous studies have done overall. You will need to read the entire literature review section of the papers. And this can take a very, very, very long time. But this next hack will allow you to massively speed up your reading without missing any important information. To illustrate this, you need to know one simple thing about how paragraphs in research papers are structured. What are paragraphs? Well, they're basically these blocks of four or five sentences, and 99% of them will have a similar pattern. Once you know it, you can scan a text really, really quickly and get all the key information that you need without reading everything. So what is it? Well, 99% of paragraphs in academic papers will start with the topic sentence. A topic sentence is a sentence that explains the main idea of each paragraph. So if you read the first sentence of each paragraph on a page, you will get a pretty good idea of what the whole text is about. In fact, in just five minutes, you can probably understand 90% of what the writers want to convey. And this also allows you to identify the paragraphs, which later you might want to read in a little bit more detail to get more specific information. Which brings me to my next point. You see, most of the paper is actually not relevant. It's like in the forest. If you want to find mushrooms, go to the parts of the forest where mushrooms grow and ignore 90% of the forest. This is much easier to do with modern technology. So I'll show you the ultimate tools that can help you to understand an entire paper in 10 minutes or less. So if you want to understand the paper in 10 minutes or less, using AI, I think the first really important thing that I would do is ask myself, you know, what, what, is the, what is the research question? You do want to know what research question that paper answers. So that would be the first thing that I would be looking at here. And I'm using Avid Notes um, in here. If you missed the previous part of the video, the link to sign up for free on Avid Note is in the description. So now I've got the research question, okay? And I understand that. Um, for me, it's also really important to understand the methodology. Um, I will skip theoretical background unless it's you know very important in your field or for the study that you're conducting. But I'd be interested in the methodology. You know what was studied, uh, how much or how many of that thing that was studied, uh, what data analysis techniques were used, and I would analyze that in a little bit more depth um, in here. So I get a nice summary here. Um, of the of the methodology. Of course, you could ask more specific questions um, as well. Uh, so you would click here, AI chat with document, and you can ask, um, you know, this is a review paper, so how many uh, papers um, did this study review? Okay, so there are more specific questions about the, about the methodology. Okay, the study reviewed 22 uh, papers. What were the exclusion and inclusion criteria. Okay, so these are the things that are going through my mind as I'm approaching a paper. So what is the what was the problem that they studied? What was the methodology? 
Okay, uh, and in this case, you can ask more specific questions about the methodology. Um, then we want to ask about the key results. So we can just click here uh, and to understand the key results um, and then ask more specific uh, questions about it um, as well. If you feel that this summary isn't adequate, you could pick up on one of the things that Avid knows uh said in here for example the research identified four main identity categories um, a writing teacher focused on uh, genre and you could ask have no you could take this and you know and then ask a more specific question if that's you know relevant to what you're doing tell me more about the category of okay to get more specific information about that particular thing Okay, so we've got the, the research problem that was studied, the methodology, and the main results. And then really, it depends on your purpose, of course, as I've mentioned numerous times in, in this video. But um, I think I'm always really interested in, okay, what are the limitations of this study? This is very important. Um, and then, what are the implications for practice and for theory? That's always very important. I, I wanna I wanna know that because you know when you're doing the literature review and you're presenting um, that particular uh, study in your literature review, you do need to be critical. So therefore, you need to tell us you know how that study that you look that you're presenting was um, was limited. Okay. So um, these would be the main things that I would be asking uh, Avid Note. Um, about of course you know there are certain other things like comparison with other research future studies that you could also ask about depending on your purpose with this literature review and you could do exactly the same thing with um, SciSpace but I want to show you a bonus feature that SciSpace has that AvidNode doesn't that allows you to analyze not just one paper but 10, 20, 30 papers and understand them in less than 10 minutes so stick around um, as i show it to you so what uh, what you can do is you can start with a literature review search or you can go to your library and upload pdf documents in here and then select um, all of those um, pdfs um, in here and you would select all of them and go to ask copilot but I will show you how to, you know, do it just with a literature review search. Okay, um, we'll go to one of my saved searches, and what's going to happen in here is that um, you will get summaries of each section of each paper in here. So, with SciSpace, you can understand the entire, paper, not just one entire paper, but literally dozens of papers in a matter of 10 minutes because you get a summary in here. And the cool thing is as well that you can uh, change which columns appear um, in here. So you can add columns, for example, let's say if you wanted the contributions of that study, you could add that uh, column. And if you're not uh, interested in, for example, dependent variable, uh, you could remove that column uh, from here. Right? But this gives you a fantastic overview of all the papers, allowing you really to understand dozens of papers in just um, a few minutes. Now, reading papers faster is great, but on its own, it won't help you to do a great literature review. You also need to take notes, structure your text, tell a coherent story, be critical and not descriptive. That's why in this next video, I will show you four simple steps to write an exceptional literature review fast without plagiarism. So watch this video next.